Today, you're gonna learn all about Figma interactions. Oh, and hey, I'd like to point out this video's awesome sponsor, Skillshare.com, which offers thousands of classes in design, coding, business, and more. For instance, you're about to watch my Figma tutorial, but you could watch this full Figma course at Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is just 10 bucks a month, but if you're the first 200 students to use my very exclusive link below in the description here in YouTube, then you get the first two months free. All right, so let's get started. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So if you've been following this channel at all and uh, what I've been preaching, I've been really wanting these, the many different prototyping tools out there to give us the ability to uh, integrate different types of interactions or micro interactions as they're called. And fortunately, Figma within the last few days have given us just that at a very basic level, um, although it works very well. Uh, so if I switch here to the monitor, um, you can see we have this little UI. This is what we're going to do, by the way. Um, so now we could do something like this, actual hover states. Uh, inside of our artboards, um, you can. It, it also allows you to do a bunch of other stuff, which is uh, something that we will we'll cover. Um, and I'll show you exactly how all of this works. All right. So for today's question, do you think it's better to be a developer who is good in design? or a designer who is good in development. And this question comes from Emo333 in the Discord server. And you guys can go there, by the way, and uh, suggest your own questions and answers. And I will ask the YouTube channel. All right, so give me your thoughts in the comments. I'll give you mine as the first uh, pinned comment. Let's get started. All right, so we'll just start here. Once you have your Figma account open here and uh, choose new file. All right, and then we'll go to the artboard and we'll choose um, iPhone X here. And just for the background color, I'll go ahead and choose uh, kind of like a very light, almost white. Yeah, something like that. So F6, F6, F6 for the color code. All right, um, then what we'll do is real quickly, I will um, create a button. So. I'll drag it out to the very right and left, although it won't be there um, in the end. We're going to make it white and then also give it a effect here of a drop shadow and then change the blur X and Y to two, two and two. All right. And then we'll go ahead and use the type tool inside of it. Let's do the same thing and make sure it's centered a line and we'll just choose or type choose a guitar. Of course, I'm using the Mozart font right here. Um, you can use whatever you want, of course. And then I'm just going to drag this in, holding Alt, the, the background that we created. And right around there is pretty good. We'll also real quickly add a uh, border radius. So up to around three. All right, so that is our very simple button. And what I'll do is I'll create a uh, another artboard. So I'm going to take this and stick it right over here. And then we'll create an artboard um, that will just contain it like that. And we'll just call this button or buttons rather. Um, and I'll actually drag it out and make it larger here and I drag that up all right um, and then what I'll do is take this and just duplicate it control D and this will be our hover state so I'm gonna change you know whatever whatever it is I want to change about this so we'll just make a maybe a blue and then take the type and make it white so that will be the changed hover state uh, of the button. Now, once you have both of those ready to go, um, we'll right click and choose and make this a component. And then this as well, a component. That way when we change, when we wanna make a change to uh, the aesthetics of this button, it'll change it across all the artboards that they're a part of, although we're just gonna use it once. But that's, you know, the way I would do it though uh, for a real project. So now what we'll do is just take Control D and then just move this over here. Um, we'll just say, we'll just put it like right there. And then we'll call this home. So double click, rename it to home. We'll duplicate it. 
we'll double click this and we'll just call this um, home hover <laughs> and then I uh, on this one we'll take this duplicate it and we'll place it right on top and make sure it's exactly on top and then delete the one beneath it all right so now what we can do is go to our prototype section we click on the first button and we'll notice for interaction we have the seven new different interaction types all right so um, on tap again it's a very self-explanatory um, how about while hovering we'll choose that all right and then we'll drag it just as we normally would to this one uh, for choose a guitar now notice that the behavior is instant um, and that's definitely what we want otherwise this effect wouldn't work well if you have if it pushing to each other that wouldn't work well um, so now what we can do is hit play and then there we go it is now working awesome something so simple uh, has been lacking in, in almost all the uh, prototyping software now we can also even make it and simulate it so that perhaps uh, you don't want that animation or I mean the the uh, the hover to happen instantaneously you want it to fade in maybe like a CSS transition or animation uh, all you have to do is change this here to dissolve and then you're able to control the duration here so now if we hit play look at that that is awesome very exciting stuff <laughs> all right um, so now let's uh you can also experiment with these other ones um, so like while pressing we can hit play I actually I haven't actually tried this out myself so there we go awesome it worked as I assumed it would um, and then we'll do another a different artboard real quick for uh, mouse enter um, so let's see here let's go ahead and We'll go back to design mode and duplicate this. All right. And I'll just go ahead and delete that. And we'll create a really, really quick uh, uh, design here. It's going to feature or showcase like a, a guitar slider sort of thing. All right. So we'll choose white and then we will drag these in. And I've just uh, downloaded uh, a couple guitar thumbnails so I'm gonna take one and just drag it over here there we go something like that and then at the top well we'll just leave it like that I was gonna have like a title and stuff we don't need to do that it's unnecessary um, and then real quick I'll use the pen tool and then just hold shift while creating a basic right arrow shape um, so then move that into place hit escape it's actually not ideal there we go we'll get rid of the stroke um, none of that we'll give a fill and we'll you we'll use our uh, blue color there all right something like that that's all that's all I wanted to do um, and then we'll take this and duplicate it um, and we will right click and flip horizontal go back and we'll just do a second uh, guitar version right here so take this and just put it like right there okay that's it um, so now we'll go back to our prototype and then um, for this one this would obviously be like a hover type state so we'll take the button here um, the right arrow and we'll choose it's not allowing me to select it There we go and we'll choose uh, on mouse enter we'll push it over here and then the behavior is important uh, because it, it won't look right obviously um, if you're choosing the wrong state so I think push works well in this context all right and then you could take this and then we could do the same thing we could do on mouse enter we will take the destination put it back and then push it right there all right so let's start oh and let's also when this is clicked push it over here and then of course if you wanted to um, you could have a third button state like a click state um, when this is clicked 
um, it would change color or something like that. But I think you get the point by now. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit play. Oh, that's right, because we, we removed the hover option. Let's just hit play, hover. And it's pushing it the wrong way, so let me fix that. Forgot about changing that slide direction. So um, over here, it's going to push it to the right, all right? And then this, by default, will push it to the left. All right, so now um, our home component, we'll make sure that's loading up. All right, one thing that's unfortunate is there is like a, a border that shows between them. Um, so it doesn't look like it's a seamless um, transition, but still you get the point and hopefully now um, you can start to experiment more with these micro animations of sorts. All right, so hopefully you learned a lot there. Uh, make sure to answer today's question, which is, do you think it's better to be a developer who is good in design or a designer who is good in development? I'll see you guys with the next tutorial. Goodbye.